everybody, it's Rebecca at Design and Adorn. Welcome to our Kit of the Week live show. Um, it is five o'clock here in Tucson, Arizona, so that means the new Kit of the Week, the Canyon Climber, should be live on our website right now. Alex is gonna come in momentarily and confirm that that is true for me. Um, so if you are shopping tonight, what's gonna happen is I'm going to go through the colors here so you can see them from different angles. We are live, got confirmation we are live. However, when you want to make your purchase, you're not going to comment on the video here to do that. You're just going to go to our website, designandadorn.com, and you will make your purchase there. It's on the Kit of the Week tab. So there's like a drop down menu, and you can go to Kit of the Week and you'll see it there. Um, or if you want to go directly, I do have it typed at the, the top of this. Let's see if I can like point. This is hard to like point on camera. But anyway, it's at the top of the screen that you are looking at right now. Uh, designandadorn.com forward slash collections forward slash week. That is where the Canyon Climber kits are. So let's take a look at our project. Hello, hello, hello. Um, when you are here, if you could give me a shout out in the comments, let me know where you are watching from. That would be fantastic. Um, Alex just posted the link here in the comments. So it's designandadorn.com forward slash collections forward slash week. If you don't want to type all of that, just go to designandadorn.com and then from the drop down menu, you'll see kit of the week right at the top. So the Canyon Climber project, this is just the coolest thing. Uh, we've had a lot of new innovations coming out of uh, coming out of out of my studio this year, and this one I am so excited about. Um, I've actually been kicking this idea around for a while. It was a few months ago, actually, that we brought in uh, the memory wire and the parts to do it, and ah, it worked. And it's so very very cool. So for those of you who are new to memory wire. Memory wire is a hardened steel wire, like a slinky. Looks, looks like this in the package. Um, and the hardened steel keeps its shape. So it keeps this little like spring shape to it. And to wear a memory wire bracelet, you wrap it around your wrist. You don't have to try to like shove your hand through like that. That's not gonna be very easy. So just take the end of it and pop it onto your wrist and then wrap around 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 like so and then you can get that shuffled the way you want it so in the canyon climber bracelet kit you are going to have both beads and you're going to stone beads you're going to braid some seed beads so you have this really cool kumihimo section isn't that neat so and then you're gonna have your your end caps on there. Oh wow, sounds like someone just jumped on our roof. So this is a five wrap bracelet. Um, memory wire fits a variety of wrist sizes because it can um, stretch a little bit, like the, the wraps can sort of like be a little bit farther apart from each other. Your kit includes a two and a half inch diameter memory wire. Um, this is typically considered the standard size of memory wire. Um, we do have two other sizes of memory wire also on our kit of the week page. So if you think that you would be a better fit with a smaller, I have some packages of the smaller and I have some packages of a larger oval size. So just to like show you like the three of them in a row for like comparison sake. So your kit includes the two and a half inch memory wire that usually fits um, like a six to seven inch wrist. Um, and then I also have a little bit smaller. This is a two and a quarter inch. And then I have a little bit bigger where it's an oval shape instead of round. So it's a little bit more wrist shape. So that can give you a little bit more room if you have a larger wrist. The memory wire is just $3 a pack. So if you think that another size would work for you, just add one of those to your order. Um, I don't have a lot of the other sizes. Memory wire is one of those items that is in short supply right now. 
Um, we've been waiting for Bede Smith to get more in, but I suspect it's sitting in a cargo ship off the coast of California somewhere. Uh, that's memory wire. So as far as the, let's see. When I click the link, it only has titles, no pictures of the kids. Try refreshing it. So the technique is going to be, this is a standard Kongo Gumi. So top right down, bottom left up. For tools, you're gonna to need your usual Kumihimo tools, Kumihimo disc, weighted bobbins, center weight. And then for the memory wire portion, you're gonna need memory wire cutters. Don't use your regular jewelry cutters for this. Memory wire is super hard and it can actually damage regular cutters, especially if you have like some nice like Italian flesh cutters or something like that. Um, it can leave actually like a little hole in your cutter. So make sure you're using memory wire cutters and then you're just gonna need a round nose plier to turn a little loop at the end. All right, so let's get going. Um, if you are ready to see all of these colors, go ahead and hit that heart emoji. Let me know that you are excited to see all this stuff. Oh, nitty gritty about the kits, forgot to say that. So this is the Canyon Climber bracelet kit. The finish size is a five wrap memory wire bracelet. It's on the two and a half inch diameter memory wire. Your kit includes the instructions and the materials for one bracelet. The kits are $125 each, or they're $99 each if you buy two or more, and that's for any of the first 19 colors. Um, color number 20, that's our premium kit that's excluded from the sale. It's $250 for kit number 20 uh, because it has some super high-end Campitos turquoise from the Campitos mine in Mexico. I'll show you. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's get going. I do have a limited uh, quantity on these, so uh, don't dilly-dally once you see the one you want. We're going to get going here with number one um, to avoid misspeaking on the names if i'm not like sure sure of the stone name i'm not going to say it but i did uh type it onto the website so that you can see the name of the stone because i know with stones a lot of people are curious about that so kit number one i only have two available of this colorway this was one that was in one of the sample photos this one here this is a dark blue druzy and what's cool about druzy is that you have little tiny like pockets on some of the stones where you can see sort of like a crystal structure in there that's really neat. Let me take that off so the screen gets bigger. There we go. So we have a dark blue druzy and then we're gonna put this with um, a nice frosted finish, medium blue there and we're gonna have the antique brass color for our end caps. Number two, uh, this is another jersey. I only have one of this one. This is the the lighter, more of like a blue green. And we're putting this one with a lighter blue, also frosted finish. This one has a little bit of like a rainbow iridescent finish. Um, and then we're gonna put this with some bright, shiny uh, rhodium end caps here. Isn't that pretty? Number three. This one has some nice earth tones. Gonna have, um, we're gonna be pairing Again, I'm not gonna say the name of the stone if I can't remember it off the top of my head, but we have some really excellent marbling in there of lighter brown and darker brown. Hey Merle, we're not shopping by commenting anymore. So if you want to reserve that kit number two for you, go to our website and you can just go ahead and put that in your cart and check out with it. So number three, we're gonna have this wonderful marbled dark brown and light, 
light brown, a little bit of some like gold and tans in here in our stone. We're putting this with an opaque chocolate brown seed bead, and then we're gonna have an antique copper color for our findings. Number four is Rhyolite. This is one of my favorite stones. I love the greens and the browns and the creams. Lots of really great color variation in Rhyolite. Really earthy. Just like taking a walk through the forest. We're gonna pair this with a frosted olive green and our findings are going to be the antique bronze. Number five. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one is a more of like a faceted stone so rather than being smooth these are cut so they have lots of facets this is a sardonyx oops too close there we go isn't that pretty so they're mostly black but we also have gray and white and a little bit of like dark brown oops too zoomed in there we go Yeah, so once you go to the Kit of the Week page, you'll see the Canyon Climber, um, the Canyon Climber Premium Turquoise, you'll see Memory Wire, and you'll see Memory Wire Cutter. So to see the colors, you have to click on either the Canyon Climber or the Premium Canyon Climber if you want to see the turquoise one. So you have to click in, and then you'll see all of the colors there. So if you see R.A. Combs in the comment, that's, that's Alex. She's on, uh, she's on the other computer running tech support in the comments. So that's messages from Alex there. And it looks like she just posted the direct link there. Um, so you can click on that in the comments that she just posted. And it'll take you all the way in straight to the photos of the different colors. So number five is going to be... Uh, this faceted sardonyx, and we're going to put this with a shiny opaque black and um, some gorgeous shiny rhodium for our findings. That's going to be really sharp. Look at this gorgeous color for number six. So this is a dyed stone. We have some really rich blues and teals and like a, a deep raspberry. And then all of that is mixed with this beautiful brown matrix. And for our seed beads, we're gonna go with this matte metallic teal this has a great variegation in the color so some of these beads are a little bit greener some of them are a little bit bluer but all in that wonderful matte teal and then for our findings we're gonna have the antique copper there and that pretty together so that's number six Number seven, this is another Druzy. This is the Rainbow Druzy. So here we're seeing lots of, lots of purple and teal and blue. And then this really kind of like shimmers in the light, right? Sometimes we get little hints of like Almost like a hematite into a bronze here. This is a really, really beautiful druzy in that rainbow finish. And we're gonna put this, again, keeping with that rainbow theme, look at these seed beads. 
So this is a double coated rainbow iridescent matte. So we're getting all sorts of wonderful shimmers on here. So big picture, it reads um, like a light blue, but then we're also getting um, some turquoise and pinks and purples and this like bronzy gold off of there. And have a little bit of contrast here with the antique silver. I think that's gonna pull together really beautifully. So that's kit number seven. Number eight. Oh, this is another one that just has a really gorgeous, intense color in our stone. So if you like purple, check this out. So the purple parts of the stone, they're slightly translucent. This is a color enhanced stone. And then we have um, a lovely brown matrix here. So beautiful, rich, royal purple. And then taking our cue from the matrix, it has just a little slight, slight sparkle to it. We're gonna go with this warm, warm copper rainbow. So we have a translucent coppery topaz with a silver lining. And then on top of that, we have a rainbow iridescent finish, which is flashing um, some purples and blues on there. Let me get that to show you all the different colors on that. Isn't that pretty? And then naturally we're gonna pair this with the antique copper for the findings for number eight. Number nine, this one is a bloodstone. So the vibe with bloodstone, if you're looking at it from a distance, it reads um, with a lot of gray tones, but when you look at it more closely, it has um, a subtle green hue to it. We do have lots of variation in the color in here, right? Some of the pieces are very translucent. It's like a cloudy, cloudy smoke gray. Um, we do have some darker, more opaque red pieces, and then we have a lot that just have um, various inclusions, giving us that um, subtle green hue to this. We're pairing this with a lustered green to sort of enhance the green color of the bloodstone. And we're gonna put this with the antique silver for our findings. So that's number nine. Oh, number 10, this is it's like classic dress up a pair of blue jeans. Look at that wonderful blue. So again, lots of variation here. We have some of the stones that are fairly translucent and are kind of like a smoky cream color. And then we have a lot of denim blue. You can see some striations in the stone here. Yeah, very pretty. And we're gonna put this with a lustered cream nice opaque cream for our seed beads. And then we're gonna have contrast with our antique copper findings. So wonderful denim blue and cream, that's number 10. So if you're looking for an item in the drop down menu and you don't see it, that does mean that it's already sold out. Alex is bringing me a little post-it notes to tell me which ones are uh, sold out already. Number 11 is this sample color. This one right here. This is what you're making. So really pretty blues and browns. The blue is somewhat translucent and some of them are a little bit creamy with a little bit of, of like white mixed in there. So lots of different shading in our blues. And then we're putting this with one of my favorite neutrals, like a matte metallic 
copper. Um, it has some variations to it. So some of the beads are a little bit uh, leaning more towards copper. Some are a little bit more like a warmer um, burgundy bronze. And then we're going to pair this with some antique, uh, antique brass findings for number 11. They're too heavy to grab like that. These are super heavy trays, as you might have guessed, our box of rocks. I just grabbed the wrong number, sorry. Out of the I'm so used to grabbing them out of the jar. Uh, with our new system, I grab them out of the box. So number 12. Oh, if you like warmer, more fiery colors, you're really gonna like number 12. Got this beautiful matte metallic, almost like a terracotta, kind of like a cross between like a terracotta and a brick red for the seed bead. And in our stones, we have some wonderful oranges, reds, creams, but then there's also some gray in here. Some of the, the stones have some gray matrix or a bit of like a translucent smoky gray. So to pick up on that, that's where we went with our end caps with the antique, antique silver, kind of a pewtery color. So that's number 12. Number 13, uh, oh, this one I only have three available of. 13 and 14 are both the same stone, but we're pairing them with different seed beads. Do you want me to explain sizing one more time? Because you might have a question about that. Yeah, I can explain sizing. Uh, let me finish up number 13 and we'll talk about sizing again. So number 13, let me zoom in on that. Look at these beautiful stones. Um, we have a lot of milky translucent white, um, have some translucent, more of like a golden, little hints of orange. And then we have some darker, more of like a smoky topaz color um, and some beautiful grays in here. So for number 13, we're pairing this with this lustered gray. It's very pretty. It's just the slightest hint of like lavender in this gray, which is so beautiful with the stone. And then we're gonna put these antique, antique silver, antique pewter colors for our findings there. So that's number 13. And then let me take a minute and talk about sizing. So your kit includes two and a half inch memory wire. That's what this sample is here. Um, I'm gonna put this on. I have about a six inch wrist. Uh, we generally say that this size memory wire um, fits like a six to seven inch wrist memory wire um, because it kind of like wraps on and can like spread itself out. Um, it does fit a variety of sizes, but if you think that you might be uh, bigger or smaller, I do actually have three sizes of memory wire. Your kit includes the two and a half inch. But if you're on our kit of the week page, you'll also see an item for memory wire and you could pick up a package of the smaller. This is the two and a quarter inch. And this is the larger, it's an oval shape instead of round. Um, this is a 2.4 inch by 3.1 inch oval. So these are the three sizes next to each other. So you can sort of see them. Your kit includes the middle size, the two and a half inch. Um, this is typically considered like the standard size of memory wire. Um, I have, so here's, here's my sample is in this size. This is Canyon climber on a smaller. And then this is not exactly, uh, this is just a, a variation of it. I don't, I only have one braid in it, but I did make one up on the, on the oval. So, this is the size that's in your kit. Let me do, 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 do. put this on my wrist. So this is how it fits, fits me. And then 
the slightly smaller size. This was the picture that, that I put on Facebook the other day. So this one's, this one's a lot tighter on me. And then um, this doesn't have quite the same number of wraps. This is only a four wrap, but you'll, you'll get the idea. This is the oval. So the oval is a little bit more wrist shaped. So it does give you more room inside. And this one, this one's a lot too big for me. This one I think would, would flop around too much on my wrist. But if you had um, closer to like an eight inch wrist, that would probably fit you better. You don't have to make any changes to your braid to use the other size of memory wire. Like they have, they've got the same size braid on them and they're, they're fine. You'll just make an adjustment in how many of the, the stone beads you string on. And your kit has enough to do any of the sizes there. That's not a problem. And then if you guys wanna see this on a bracelet sizer, I don't know if you guys know what a bracelet sizer is, but this helps you see the the inside measurements of a bracelet. So I'm just gonna like plop this on here. So this is the the smaller, this is the two and a quarter. So this is only going down to like a seven and a quarter inch on here. This is the medium, this is what's in the kit. And this one drops down all the way to the eight. The reason I don't say eight inch wrist is because of how wide it is. If your wrist is eight inches here, then it's probably nine inches here, right? Because your arm gets wider as you move up your arm. And then this is the oval. And the oval, it's not really super a lot bigger than the um, than the standard, but because it's oval shaped, sometimes it's a little bit more comfortable um, if your wrist is closer to eight inches. So that's the three sizes there. And again, the one that is included in your kit is the two and a half inch. If you want to add one of the other sizes, it's just a separate listing. They're $3 per pack. So great question. So back to our colors, number 14. And number 14 has the same, same stones as number 13, but we're putting it with a different seed bead. So uh, 13 we put with that luster gray that had that little hint of lavender. 14 we're putting with a matte black. And then again, playing with those grays in there, we're gonna have the, the antique pewter for our findings. And again, if you're just tuning in, we have changed how we're doing our shopping on these lives. Um, this video is just so that you have another opportunity to interact with the project, ask any questions live while I'm sitting right here. Um, but you're actually going to go to Design and Adorn to place your order. You'll be able to see all of the colors at once. You don't have to wait for me to describe the color. If you're like, oop, that's the one I want, just go ahead and put it in your cart. And once you have checked out that kit, is yours and we'll start making it for you on Tuesday. Number 15, this is really pretty. This one, um, this is a Jasper that looks kind of like turquoise, but it is not turquoise. Kathy is asking, how do I see, how do you see the project? Well, I'll probably show it again at the end of the video, but also you can rewind. I've shown it a couple times now. Um, so I'm not going to show it right this second, but you can see it at the end of the video. Or there's also a photo of the finished project on the shopping page. So number 15, our stones are a really pretty mix of like dark teal and light teal, a little bit of like turquoise in here, and then a lot of brown. So wonderful teal, turquoise, and brown. And for our seed beads, it's just like the perfect color, right? It's like spot on. It's a translucent dark teal and then it has a Picasso finish on it. So it's kind of speckled just like our stone beads. Isn't that cool? And then for number 15, we're gonna pair this with the shiny rhodium for the findings, for the end caps there. Number fifth, excuse me, number Number 16 is already sold out. It's the same stone, just with a different, um, 
different seed beads. So this one has more of a metallic coppery bronze. Then I'm putting that with the copper end caps. So number 17. Oh, this is this Botswana agate. Love the stone. So that's that's like this. This is not exactly uh, the the canyon climber, right? This was just a, a sample I was I was playing with. Canyon climber has two braid sections, um, but this is the color of number seventeen. If you want to see see that, so this is our Botswana agate. That's our color of our seed beads. Isn't that pretty together? So Botswana agate has a lot of gray and tan and brown and white. Um, it's mostly translucent, but some parts of it are opaque. And then you have lots of nice stripes. I mean, look at that. Look at the striping. Isn't that pretty? And then for the seed beads, oops, a little bit too unzoomed. There we go. For our seed beads, we have a really pretty matte gray where sometimes it's gray, sometimes it's a leaning a little bit more towards like a matte bronze. So we have some of those brown tones as well as the gray. Pairs really nicely with the Botswana agate, as you can see here in this sample. And then um, we're going to put this with the antique, antique pewter, antique silver color for the end caps. And number 18, ooh, we have a nice um, matte metallic bronze for our seed bead and antique, antique brass for the end caps. And then look at this beautiful, beautiful golden, golden browns we have here. Um, also some translucent um, gold tinged cream. Uh, some of these have some nice, um, nice detail, some nice mixture of the opaque and the translucent stones. It's really pretty all together there. So that's number 18. And once again, I'll just put up the link where you can go to our website to purchase your kit. I have one more Canyon Climber in our standard uh, stone selections to show you, and then I'll show you the premium one. So number 19, so we're gonna have a really lovely marbled pink for our seed bead. So it's almost like a cream base, and then we have speckles of darker uh, rose and peachy rose on top of there. And then our stone, this is an ocean, ocean jasper. So lots and lots of variation in ocean jasper, right? So there's like dark, forest green, there are some pinks and mauve, lavender, um, there's some golden brown, lots and lots of different colors in ocean jasper, it's so pretty. And this is gonna be really nice with that marble pink seed bead, it's gonna be really pretty. So that's number 19. So let me briefly show you through the project real quick before I move on to our last one. So again, the Canyon Climber, your finished size on this kit is a five wrap memory wire bracelet on the two and a half inch memory wire. Um, your kit includes the instructions and your materials for one bracelet. Uh, the kits that you just saw, kit one through 19, those are $125 each or they're $99 each if you buy two or more. That discount will apply automatically in the shopping cart as soon as you put that second kit in there. You don't have to put in a coupon code. And then this next one I'm gonna show you, number 20, it's a $250 kit. And let's take a look, it's gorgeous. So number 20, uh, this one's 250. And you'll see why. It's this 
absolutely stunning turquoise. So these are a little bit smaller pieces of stone. So in the standard kits, they are six millimeter round with the exception of we had one that was a faceted, but it was also about six millimeters. These are little nuggety chips. So they're a little bit smaller, they're about four to five millimeters. Um, but that's not going to change how you do your, your project. You're just going to string them on the same and look, look at that beautiful turquoise. This is a natural turquoise. That means that it has not been color enhanced. And these are from the Campitos mine in Mexico. So we love that we have this North American turquoise and we're going to put this with a matte black seed bead and the shiny rhodium for the end caps. And that's just going to be absolutely stunning. And we have a question, what level of experience is needed for the canyon climber? That is a great question. So the technique of the braiding, it's going to be Congo Gumi. So it's top right down, bottom left up, turn the disc. You are going to be braiding around a core. So I wouldn't recommend this for your like first ever Kumi Hima project, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Here's my, here's my bracelet. And then this portion here, stay in frame. Um, this is just bead stringing, right? You just got to string your beads on the memory wire. Um, you will need some specific tools to do this. For the Kumihimo portion, you're going to need your standard Kumihimo tools. So Kumihimo disc, weighted bobbins, center weight. For the memory wire, you do want to have memory wire cutters. This is not because your regular jewelry cutters can't cut the memory wire. They can, but the memory wire is hard enough to damage your cutters. So keep that in mind. Um, you want something that has a reinforced jaw, like a, like a carbide jaw, a tungsten carbide. That's what we have on our website. We have a reinforced tungsten carbide cutter. Um, so that way it doesn't damage your regular cutters. And then at the very end of this, Oops, stay in frame. At the very end, you're going to turn a little loop with your memory wire. So you're gonna need a round nose plier for that. Um, it does take, takes a little bit of hand strength, honestly, to turn this little loop here um, because the memory wire is very hard. So when you're turning your wire here, you do have to apply pressure with your opposite hand and ooh, give that a little, little oomph there. Ooh, ooh. Um, the sound effect makes it easier. Um, Gabriel wants to know, do you sell the instructions without the kit? I do not. The only way to get the instructions for this super duper awesome technique is to get the kit. And um, it's pretty cool. I think you're going to want to do that. So those are our colors of the Canyon Climber. Um, again, uh, kits 1 through 19, those are $125 each, or kit number 20, the premium is $250 each. We are going to have these kits up on the website while supplies last until Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Arizona time. At that time, the sale is closed, and that's when we start making your kits. We do make them to order. It typically takes about uh, two weeks for us to prepare the kits and get them in the mail. So thanks so much for watching everybody. If you missed uh, any part of the video, as soon as I'm done, um, you'll be able to rewind and watch it again. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Big news. Next Friday starts our unicorn trunk show. So if you love unicorn beads, drop a note in the comment. Let me know what is your favorite design and adorn kit that uses unicorn beads. See you next week. Bye.